Good day Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest weather analysis for the Tuesday to Thursday, October 10 to 12, 2023 and this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman Gabby Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarini Sur. Well, we have some good news to tell. The low pressure area 97W, which was supposed to pass uh, very close to Bicol region tomorrow, Wednesday, as an active LPA or even a tropical depression, has not pushed through, okay? This system has weakened uh, gradually into a shallow LPA and uh, most of its rain bands are being absorbed into the monsoon trough which is feeding into the circulation of the powerful typhoon which is now moving over Guam and later on we are going to give you the very latest on this uh, system but before we proceed we would like to uh, uh, again promote the uh, Comunidad uh, Climate Action Center those uh, LGUs and uh, companies that are willing to have their own climate action center don't forget to visit our website, typhoon2000.ph, and click on the first banner, which is Comunidad, and you will be forwarded to a uh, Google form for you to answer. And uh, upon submitting, Mr. Aaron Cabasel will be the one who will uh, contact you to explain more about this uh, product. Or you can uh, uh, call him directly at 0976 or at his uh, email address, iron.cabasal at comunidad.co. So this is a good product for you uh, out there who's willing to uh, be uh, climate resilient and uh, be a low carbon economy, okay? And uh, many uh, LGUs are now uh, uh, acquiring this uh, climate action center. So don't forget to visit Comunidad. Now let's proceed with our update. Here's the latest graph set that we created early this morning. And this is now uh, the situation across the Western Pacific and the uh, Philippine Islands. We have here once uh, Typhoon Koino. And it's already uh, a tropical depression actually has just weakened over the island of Hainan as it uh, moves southwestward. So Koino is uh, already a historic uh, system. It has uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has released the final advisory on this uh, system. Now all across the Philippine Islands, we are experiencing some thunderstorm activity across southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, including Mimaropa, because of an active monsoon trough which originates here from the coastal areas of Vietnam, across Visayas, Mindanao and into the shallow LPA, which was once formerly 97W, <clears throat> which was once 97W, and this system is uh, continuing to uh, dissipate, although uh, there are bands of clouds uh, approaching the uh, eastern sections of southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, which could bring lots of rainfall for the next two days to Thursday. And we have here the uh, fully developed, uh, a severe tropical storm Volaven, uh, but as of this time, it's already uh, upgraded into a well-developed uh, typhoon with winds of 130 kph. It's currently here, passing in between Tinian and Rota Island in the northern Marianas. Okay, so it will pass in between. Uh, that's in between Saipan and Guam. So uh, uh, stormy weather are being felt as of this time through the evening. So please take all necessary precautions. And uh, this uh, system is not a threat and it will not enter the Philippine area of responsibility and it will just roam across the open waters of the Western Pacific without affecting any major land areas of Asia Pacific. And uh, here's the fast animation. So you can clearly see here the uh, development of uh, Typhoon Bolaban uh, passing very close to uh, Rota and Tinian Island. And here's the uh, remnants of uh, LPA 97W becoming a uh, uh, tropical wave embedded within the uh, monsoon trough. And it's uh, currently bringing some isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms across southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, including Mimaropa, which is expected to uh, become more frequent by uh, tomorrow to Thursday. 
and uh, if we take a look at the uh, zoom in solar animation so there you go these are thick cumulonimbus clouds lots of thunderstorms is uh, are on its way towards uh, southern Luzon including Bicol and also uh, here Visayas and Mindanao so these are uh, isolated scattered so nothing to worry about but in areas that are flood prone this could be a problem when uh, heavy downpour occur when uh, thunderstorm activity passes uh, across your across their areas okay and here's uh, the storm right now actually it's already a typhoon the eye is still cloud filled if we take a look at the uh, uh, radar shot from Guam this is the uh, radar uh, shot so there you go it's uh, currently to the northeast of Guam here's the developing eye you can see it's not yet fully developed that's why it's a category uh, one typhoon and if we uh, take a look at the uh, fast uh, animation or loop of this radar you can clearly see here that it's fast approaching Rota Island and it's uh, wobbling west and north west and north it's, uh, it's like bouncing okay so it is likely to pass in between uh, Rota and Tinian so this is Tinian Island this one and this is Rota so it's passing over uh, between those areas so uh, tropical storm force winds are being felt over Guam and nearby areas including Saipan throughout the day okay so uh, they're lucky enough it's not a very powerful system and uh, it is likely that once it reaches uh, the uh, central portions of the western pacific it could become uh, a super typhoon okay since the uh, sea surface temperature here and the oceanic heat content is warm enough to boost the energy of this uh, typhoon so it's a recurving system and uh, not even uh, japan will get affected by this uh, uh, tropical uh, system here is the philippine area of responsibility i'm just showing it to you that it's far away nothing to worry about and even the computer models are showing the system is uh, same with the uh, forecast tracks of all asian agencies and when we take a look at the easterly wave.com uh, European model ensemble tracks this is the only system that shows uh, a healthy uh, tropical uh, cyclone the rest there's nothing the one that will form here has uh, gone haywire and it's no longer expected to develop this is just a low pressure system over the West Philippine Sea in the next uh, five to ten days and uh, this uh, far away system from the uh, Central Pacific which is not expected to reach the uh, Western Pacific and uh, also uh, so uh, for the next uh, two to three weeks it so for the next uh, 10 days it looks like we are going to have some improvement of uh, uh, tropical cyclone uh, development without any uh, major threat to our country and here's the uh, wind forecast for the next three days until Friday tomorrow afternoon Wednesday there we go the storm is now moving up Thursday it will recurve and uh, Friday it will accelerate towards the Northeast so uh, what will be the wind wind system over our country will be the start of the northeasterly trade winds or the weak Amihan affecting uh, extreme northern and eastern Luzon down to northern portions of the Bicol region so enjoy these winds since it's no longer uh, warm it's slightly cooler since uh, this is now the uh, first uh, uh, blast of the uh, impending uh, Amihan which is set to begin this uh, November while uh, the central Philippines like the Visayas and Mimirabo will remain uh, calm to variable winds until Friday okay so there you go and for the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until uh, uh, Thursday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday we expect these thunderstorms mostly in the afternoon or evening across Bicol the uh, Mimaropa area Visayas and Mindanao nothing to worry about these are just passing rain showers and thunderstorms mostly in the afternoon or evening so there you go that's the latest for this uh, Tuesday and we will return 
before before or during the weekend. This is Mike Padua saying, uh, uh, have a great week ahead. Stay safe always. Be hashtag uh, weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.